All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to look at some more advanced plotting techniques. I know printing and plotting can be a real pain. Uh, so let's see if we can use a little more advanced features to take care of that. But first, let's see what it does. We'll follow through just the usual way. There it is, our detail in all its glory. But notice it's in green and blue and all the lines are the same sizes and stuff. So let's go back and do a little more sophisticated work with this. I'll delete that one because we're not going to use it anyways. Go to File and Page Setup Manager. Make a new layout. And we're going to call this CIE 101 A size. Hit OK. Now we can set this all up and save it. So let's go to the PDF one. And see expanded A looks like the right side. Everything else looks pretty good. And just hit OK. And then we can modify that. I want to add a plot style table. And we'll make the new one and just start from scratch. And we're going to call this CIE 101 black and white. A size. And we'll just go right ahead with the with the uh, defaults. And then we click this funny little button right next to it. And that allows us to edit it. And what we see here is a bunch of colors. And what we're going to do is these colors are going to translate from the screen to the plotter. Okay, this comes from the old school way where actually plotters had individual pens it would pick out. But what we're going to do here is take the blue color. So anything that's in the blue color, I'm going to have come out black. And in this case, I'm going to have it pretty thick. I'm looking for the line weight of one millimeter. For the black color, which is number seven, which appears in paper space as black. It appears as white in the model space, but in any case, we're going to make sure that comes out as black. We we'll use a different line weight for that. Let's say like 0.35 millimeters. Okay. The uh, green then, which is our dimensions and text, we're going to have come out as black as well. But we're going to change that size to 0.1 millimeters. Oops, I missed. Right there. And then the red will actually be the smallest, so if I have any working lines that I want to plot out, I'm going to have them plot as black, but use them as very smallest as possible. Save and close. So what this does is it translates from the colors on the screen to line types and line sizes on the paper. Hit OK. And close, and then let's use that to plot and see what the difference is. So go to plot, and this time instead of nothing, I'm going to use CI 101A size. Hit OK, and we'll plot it. And look, it all comes out black and white with everything translated. If I zoom this to 100%, it might look a little better. The rebar may be a little thick. I pr could probably change that back a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. But it shows things in a little better scale and size. Notice that the dimension lines are lighter, and the text looks pretty good. I guess I guess we could probably live with that. So now, whenever I want to plot something, doesn't matter what file it is, I can use that to change. Now what the, the other advantage of that is, is if I have different plotters, like I do a draft on my 8.5 by 11 and then I go to big E size in production, I can have a different plot setup in page setup manager with different line types and stuff in plot style table manager so that the line types and stuff come out consistent. And that should do it I guess.